The reason you're stuck in champ is not because your mechanics suck. Okay, maybe for some of you, they do. But for most of you watching, you're stuck because you make bad decisions. And these bad decisions cost you games many times without you even realizing it. So I went undercover in champ to prove just how simple it is. Keyword, simple, not easy. So my goal with this video is to point out the mistakes that champ players make and that you might be making too, so you can learn exactly how to win in these lobbies without overcomplicating it. Follow this and it will be the only video you'll need to get out of champ in 2024. Let's go over twos, peak rank, plus current rank. Volcano Farts, you're up first. Say hi. Hey, I'm Volcano Farts, peak rank, champ three, div three, current rank, champ two, div one. All right, what's up guys, my name's Buck. I have a peak champ two, I think it was div one, and right now I'm just champ one, div four. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cozy. I am diamond two currently. My peak rank is diamond three, close to champ. Never got there yet. Lovely, it'll be fun. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Do it. Oh, and by the way, hi, my name's Luke. I'm a peak Grand Champ 3 player, currently Grand Champ 2. So I'm the Smurf, in case anybody was confused about that in the intro. <laughs> And if you guys want to join in on these videos or you just want to find teammates, I started Rocket League's largest competitive Discord. Click the first link down in the description below to join for free today. P.S. We're almost at 60,000 members in the free Discord and we're about to hit 10,000 members in the free school. If you didn't see, we're doing a big coaching giveaway at 10,000 members and currently we're at 9,500. So get in before 10K to be eligible to win. Now back to the games and the analysis. Colsey, let's get it. Let's win this one. Left goes. Yeah, I'll bite right. I got another oh. shot. Oh, shot. That was, that was really... Yeah. He, he's warmed. He's warmed up. It's scary now. Yeah. I don't know why I went from him blaming on the morning. That's what I'm saying, dude. I feel sick. <laughs> it's all good. It's fine. Uh, gotta make sure I don't double. Is We're that fine. a bit slow? <laughs> We're fine. We're not fine. Oh, man. One take home message though that I, I started doing, when you realize you're playing with the lower rank player, one of the first things that goes at low ranks is kickoffs. It's just inconsistent. So you'll okay. see that here I'm cheating up pretty aggressively. And after this, I, I position even further back just to, just to compensate. So that's like a, a small little thing you can do. You should always move up to position near the 50-50. Never is it justifiable to like just turn around and go get boost. Like you always want to cheat though. Well, that's high. Jeez. Watch shot. Watch shot. Good save. I'm back post. I got. Rotate around. Hi. I got one more. Big jump. Yeah. He's got clear. Watch out. Uh, nice, high mid. off backboard. Oh. It's fine. I'm back. I'll cut Start early. recovering. He's missing. Go fast. Uh, demo demo right, for yeah. me. Demo for me. He's leaving it free, but wow. Trend. Dude, he's like next to what is he? He's done me so dirty like that twice. He knows how to get it like away from you. I had zero chance both times. If I'm positioned same side as defender, that's demo yep. opportunity. Always go for demo. If we're opposite side, usually don't, but same side you go okay. for demo. One thing you'll, I, I notice about champs and I, I kind of abuse it. The difference between you and me when we get the ball is you take a half second longer to get your dribble set up. So I know every time you get the ball, you're, you're gonna be juggling it for half a second, staring at the ball, not staring at me, which means as long as I challenge you, while you're getting it set up, you're not going to flick me. And this is something I recommend you use against champs as well. Yeah, I definitely should have just flicked it and then gone for boost. I'll take corner by time. Oh, he's going fast. Yeah, I'm about post. We got it. It's fine. Oh, we got 2v1. Uh, I'm going ceiling. Yep. Yeah, I know it is. I'll jump. I don't like this look. Oh, what a pin. <laughs> he's nasty right now. He's peeking. That was really good. Oh, that should not have worked. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Go back. He's got bad touch. Center. Yeah, right. Dodging demo. I hit it to him, that's my bad. Dude, what is he? He's so good. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> good play. What do, you, what do you learn from seeing me do that? Like, is it just useless? It's like, oh, well, throw hands up the air? Is there no. anything you can translate to your games? One of the things that, like, a lot of champs are looking for to, like, improve need a lot of help with our decision making and game sense. But also sometimes I know that I've struggled on what mechanics are actually going to be that helpful because like you can hear like all the list of like yeah, what's good yeah. to learn but then seeing the application of like what those mechanics can allow you getting it kind of broken down and like how you're using the mechanic that we need to learn on yeah. to help improve 
in addition to that's a good point obviously decision making in game sense I, absolutely um, i want to break down this yeah. play volcano because that's a, that's a great point it's not just knowing what mechanics on a tier list are worth it it's why are they useful in game and and what provokes you to use them can i walk mm. you guys through where i think you guys messed up in this play because we didn't they have do. to score here this touch right here volcano beautiful you make a soft touch in your corner to buy time because you guys are getting attacked on 2v1 because Buck's not back. This is fantastic. This was the mistake touch. Jumping here. Yeah. Because if we were able to flick our ball cam off for just half a second, you see that I'm not challenging. And so this was the big mistake. You're low boost. If we're low boost, we want to keep ball close. We don't want to boom away because we don't have boost to catch back up to it. And so you'll see the minute you boom ball away, you don't have boost to catch back up to it. That's when my play starts. And I get it. You're pan it's panicking in the corner. You have low vision, so it's hard. The, the way we fix that is we increase our vision. And the way you increase vision in corner is you turn ball cam off so you can look upfield. Right. We don't want to panic with low vision in the corner. Second thing I want to break down, the difference between like a champ catching this ball and me is the minute that I realize this ball is thrown, I realize we have possession. It doesn't look like it because it looks like you're close to the ball. But in my mind, I know this is now a 2v1. So the difference between me and a champ is a champ will see this ball coming down. They'll see you kind of near it and they'll go, I have to jump. And the champ will probably just slam this ball back into the corner. The first decision that you want to make here, if you're me, is am I hitting this ball hard or soft? And so I make my soft touch. The reason I do the side flip wave dash is because I know I'm getting bumped. So I'm trying to go left and right and dodge bumps while dribbling. So that's why this wave dash happens. After that, once I realize that I have to dodge demo, I, I realize there's no, there's no scoring opportunity if I go in a straight line. So that's why I'm trying to create misdirection. And sometimes I just get dunked here. But by taking it sideways instead of straight at the net, if I do get dunked, I'm getting dunked while my car is like this. And I'm just turning back. Right, the loss is gonna go to the wall if you get dunked, not towards your net. Right. Luke from the future here, and just wanted to say, if you're looking for a pro coach to analyze your gameplay like this, but you know, maybe a bit better, my team of coaches at the Grand Champ Bootcamp can help. Our coaching program has helped over 3,000 players from over 20 countries around the world rank up without sacrificing or grinding this game like it's a full-time job. So if you're looking for a way to fast track your rank journey, or you just want a second set of eyes on your gameplay, DM me on Discord with the keyword Smurf to talk details about coaching. I'll have my Discord first link in the description below. Once again, that's keyword Smurf for coaching. Back to the video. Shot high. Yeah. Rotate out. I'll turn. Fake shot. Fake shot again. You. Yeah. Oh. Uh, should go off ceiling. I can shoot. A little miscommunication. That's tough. I got a nice pinch too. Kind of lucky. One of the biggest reasons you guys haven't had attacking opportunities is because on defense, we're, we're making unproductive touches. We're hitting the ball hard when nobody's challenging. This touch, I like. You're kind of staying close. This touch is the big mistake that keeps the you guys slam. stuck on defense. I thought you were challenging me so hard there. I can tell you right now. I thought you were yeah. like, going to meet me about like right there. And I get that. I, I, I get why you would be threatened here. The, the thing that I'm actually watching here is I just don't like this rotation. There will be times in 2v2 when you fuck up. And okay, for whatever reason, my teammate is now in a 1v1. Whoever wins this, wins this, right? And if we get scored on, there's nothing you can do here. In these situations yeah. where your team is in a 1v1, I think it's really important to understand how you can impact the play and what you're playing for. So you can't affect this interaction but what interaction can you affect right now demo yeah maybe if this guy's first on your team and this guy's first on your team you're second who's your man where's your guy there he is right mm -hmm. if you demo here not only would you be in better position but you demo and then you're back here waiting letting your teammate go now volcano gets not a great touch but if volcano doesn't flip here and just keeps the ball close like he should just jump and not flip you guys volcano's following up his touch and you guys are much better off. But instead, we get a bad save plus rotating front post, one fake challenge, and now your entire team is in the corner. Mm -hmm. And now Colsey's going to get free ball. And why is Colsey so fast? Well, it's because he has free ball. Oh, sorry, Colsey. I just put you on spot. <laughs> <laughs> we should have scored right there. And that was the decision-making mistake on defense, in my opinion. You had an opportunity to take out Colsey. So Colsey should have hit this ball over your head and probably scored right here. Yeah. All good. By time, oh, I'm just low 50. Low 50, I'm just buying time. Oh, you're right there. Go, go, go. Yeah. Nice. Great challenge. Get back out. I'll, I'll go, go early. Boost. Not yep. fake chill. Low boost here. Just keeping in the corner low by time. That's a bad, 
if I leave. One of the big reasons that we spent the first three minutes of this game on offense, and you guys spent the first three minutes on defense, is because we're controlling the ball in our corner, and you guys are panicking in your corner. So you're throwing away possession and allowing us to maintain pressure versus when the ball comes on our side, and I realize we're in a 2v1, notice how I slow down the play. I'm just buying time, buying time, buying time. Even though you're driving here, I know you have no challenge. Here, he's got 100 boosts, I've got 13. I've got the back wall to help me 50. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a mistake, this, Buck. This, well, there's two in a row for me typical but like the boost thing the little little razzle dazzle boost deal was probably a little bit like this jump right there is probably unnecessary but then the thing that screwed me was tapping it infield he knew where i was going basically easy yeah. 50 for him yeah i actually spotted a mistake before any of that i think all those are great mistakes but there was one mistake that was that was bigger here i'll give you a hint yeah, you just gone for a demo. Just kill. Just yeah, kill. Okay. yeah, you should kill here every time. Whenever you're on offense and you recognize there's no attacking opportunity, this is something that my coach Shock taught me. Run through. Mm -hmm. The default is out. balls in the corner. Mm -hmm. There's no immediate play on the ball, so play the opponent. Like if you just keep driving through this ball, like drive challenge or try to take me out directly, either play. Mm -hmm. This works, but the minute you slow down, I wanted you to slow down. And then once you're in this awkward situation, yeah, there's no good way out because I'm buying time. In my mind, I'm winning here. Our team is in a better position now, even though this is about as awkward as you can possibly get in Rocket League. <laughs> We're gonna switch over to Volcano. Mm -hmm. Mistake here. I think everybody saw this mistake, yep. but you can break it down very easily. What's the mistake? Uh, Yeah, I just panic bang it. I should have just caught that and controlled it and then tried to either flick it to the left side where it was probably more open for my teammate. Yeah. Here's, here's where the open space yeah. is. So we, we need to take it. We need to take it mm -hmm. here. By hitting this ball into the corner, you just, once again, you're, you're helping me relieve pressure. And once you hit it in the corner, I'm like, this is fantastic. I'm gonna slow down. Mm -hmm. Because that mistake is made, I'm no longer trying to boom and clear this ball because I really don't have a good boom and clear. If I clear over Volcano, what happens? It's just a 1v1. Buck just gets a 1v1 on Colsey. So that, that's why I back up here. Just drive challenge here. We just don't want to commit. Okay. Forcing flick. Stand back. I got. I'm demoing. Yep. Wonderful. Oh. Good try. Oh, what do you left? <laughs> Bumping. GG's. <laughs> Good first game, Colsey. <laughs> I like that game a lot. All right, I need to tell Luke that I lied and I don't want him to go full force anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we lied, we don't want you to try it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for coming on. That was fantastic. I appreciate you staying yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for doing no, it. Thanks, uh, That's a thanks. great review. Yeah, this is fun.